Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up three of the most popular VPNs out there, and they are ExpressVPN over here, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now, in order to set these up, let's say we're starting with ExpressVPN, the first step would be to go to the website, pick a plan, and sign up and make an account. Once you've done that, then you'll have these options over here, and even though I'm using a Windows computer right now, it doesn't make a difference. Even if you're on Mac, you'll just have to go over here and click Mac. And then you'll get taken to this page and you'll have an activation code on the left side. And on the right side, you can either email yourself a setup link or just download it on the computer that you're using right now. So you can just download it. Once you've downloaded it, then the app itself will start up and it will ask you to put in this activation code. So you're just gonna have to copy this and then paste it over into the app and that's it. Once you've done that, you might have a few initial settings just to set up the first time that you start using Express, but that's pretty much it. You'll be good to go and you'll be able to start using the VPN. Now for NordVPN and for Surfshark, it's a little bit different, but very similar. By the way, if you wanna find out any more about these VPNs, I'll be sure to have some more useful links in the description below. But for Nord, you will also wanna to go to the website and make an account, and then you'll have this page right here or something very similar. And you just need to go over to the download center, the download apps, you can either get to it here or on the left side over here, and then download the app for the platform that you're using. So here it would be for Windows, but we can just scroll down and get it for iOS for the App Store. And we can scroll down even further and get it for Mac OS on Mac and then click download. Once you've downloaded it, the VPN itself, the application will start up, but instead of pasting in an activation code, all you're gonna need to do is enter in the same credentials, the same username and password that you used when you signed up for the account in the website here. And then once you've done that, again, there might be a few initial settings the first time that you open it up, but that's pretty much it. The homepage is actually not this. The homepage is actually here. This is the homepage. And to get to the VPN, you can either use it on the left side right here. You have some add-ons here. NordVPN comes with basically a small antivirus threat protection. It has some statistics about your connection. And also there is secure file sharing. So there's a lot going on with NordVPN. I'll be sure to leave a link for a full in-depth review in the description below. And I'll actually have a full reviews for all of the VPNs that I'm talking about here. But to get to the VPN itself, it's actually the second option over here, the VPN and then you have your map interface. You can just click on any one of these little dots, these little nodes, and you will be connected to a server in that country. And Surfshark has the same process as Nord. So again, you make an account and then you go into your account page and then on the left side by download apps, you scroll down, you find the option that you want. So let's say desktop and laptops. And for Mac OS, we go to view and then we can download it either directly or from the app store. You also have the legacy app for older Mac OS versions. All of these VPNs, by the way, will have an option for older Mac versions. So you can just look around. If you have an older version of Mac, you will be able to find a legacy version. But the main option that you're given here will be for the most current versions. But once you've downloaded the app, then you can just open up Surfshark and then again, log in using the same credentials that you set up your account on the website with and you'll be good to go with Surfshark. Now, in terms of the difference between these three VPNs over here, my go-to option and the one that I use the most is over here, ExpressVPN. This is what I find to be just the simplest and easiest to use, and the one that just has the simplest interface. You just click on the location bar, pick where you wanna to connect to, there's a big connection button, and then you have the shortcuts to get to wherever you wanna to get to really quickly, and it's just really simple and easy to use. So this is personally the one that I use the most. It also has very stable connections and very fast connections. So I love ExpressVPN. I recommend this all the time. But if it's a little too simple for you and you want something a little more complicated, then NordVPN is a very good bet. There's a lot you can do with NordVPN. Like I said, I'll have a full review in the description below, but there is a lot of flexibility with Nord. So if that's something that appeals to you, then Nord might be the one for you. And Surfshark is the cheapest option here. I wouldn't say it's as reliable. I have had times where my connection dropped out, but if you're looking for an inexpensive VPN that at the same time will come with a lot of high level features that you don't normally find at this price then Surfshark is the one to go with. But if you do have a little bit of extra money, then I would definitely recommend NordVPN or Express as really good alternatives. So in short, that's how I would describe all of these three. If I had to, in a nutshell, you'll find more information and some links that will get you a discount on all of these in the description below in case you want to try them out. They all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try them out, see if you like it and if it works for you. And if it doesn't, you can cancel and ask for a refund and get your money back. So you're not tied down in any way. So that's all for this video, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.